Hey guys, so I am on my way shopping to Costco. I am not looking forward to this Costco trip. Hold on, we're going over a big dip. <laughs> Don't want the camera fall. Anyways, last time I was at Costco, I think it was like three or four weeks ago, I cried and it was just an awful experience because the reality of the whole everything going on just hit me and I felt like we were being herded like cattle into the store and just, it was just not a fun experience. Another dip here. <laughs> um, anyways, so I decided to boycott Costco and not go shopping there anymore. So my last shopping trip last week or two weeks ago was at Smith's. It was the most normal shopping experience because they had stuff. They weren't out of everything. I mean, people were still wearing masks and we had to stay, you know, six feet apart, but it wasn't like Costco is just so somber and it was just, it was just weird you know, telling us where we can and can't go, what we can and can't buy, and it was just, it was not a good day for me. So, I need some stuff at Costco, and I'm also making a Costco run for somebody at our church, um, an older couple who can't get out to go get stuff, so I'm hoping that I can get the stuff that they need. On the list was toilet paper, um, so I'm hoping that if I get there early enough, I can get toilet paper, but I don't know, we will see. We'll see how crowded it is. Um, it's 10 o'clock right now when they open. I didn't want to get there right when they open because everybody else probably is trying to get there too. So I'm just gonna go a little bit after 10 and hope that they still have stuff. I really need rubbing alcohol. Um, I don't know if they're gonna have any, but I'm hoping that going early enough, maybe they do have some, I can get some. I've been buying rubbing alcohol for years, making my own spray that everybody all of a sudden is making now and panic buying all of the rubbing alcohol. So I'm really hoping that they have it and there's other things that I'm hoping they have. Um, I need yeast. I'm almost out of yeast. I've had the big thing from Costco for years. I've literally been using it for years. I keep it in the freezer. I probably had it for four or five years and now I'm almost out. So of course the time that um, I'm out of yeast, this happens and yeast can't be found anywhere. <laughs> I've been making sourdough bread and stuff, but I've been also making regular bread, so I need yeast. So I'm hoping they have yeast. I don't know what I'm gonna find at the store. Um, it's probably gonna be a weird experience, even weirder than last time. So I'm not gonna wear a mask because I don't have a mask. I don't need one, I'm not sick. I'm not freaked out like other people are. Um, it's not required for us to wear masks. Um, I'm really not doing a whole lot different than normal. Um, whenever I go shopping, I always spray down the cart handles anyways. I always sanitize my hands when I get back in the car, and then as soon as we get home from the grocery store, I wash my hands. So I'm not really doing anything different than normal. Um, I know a lot of people are going to more extremes, like wiping down all of their groceries and stuff, I'm not going to that extreme. We weren't meant to live in a sterile world, and so if you're constantly killing germs, you're not doing anything good for your immune system. I mean, yes, we do need to be cautious and wash our hands and stuff, but I'm not going overboard. So I feel a lot of people are going overboard and seeing them go overboard freaks me out because it's like, this is not normal. It's just, I don't know how to explain my anxiety over this situation. And I've seen other people have anxiety of seeing people not wear masks. Well, I have anxiety seeing people wear masks because it's like the CDC says it's beneficial for people who are sick. So every time I see someone in a mask, I'm like, are you sick? You know, but yeah. So anyways, I'm not gonna be, you know, overboard or anything. I just wanna get my groceries, my normal groceries that normal people buy on a normal basis, like oats and flour and yeast and rubbing alcohol, like stuff I normally buy on a regular basis. So yes, the stuff that everybody's panic buying and is out and now I can't get that stuff. So we're gonna see what Costco has. If they don't have flour, that's okay. I still have some at home. I'm just gonna buy some if they have some because like when I'm out, I don't wanna be like, ah, I need flour. So we are turning into Costco now. There's lots of other cars turning in here too. My heart's like pounding, I don't know why. <gasps> I think just because I'm nervous about the whole, like, are they gonna have what I need? And just, I don't know, shopping makes me anxious now, like anxiety anxious. So I'm the type of person that parks in the same spot every time. I just don't like normal disrupted. And I think that's why I'm having such a hard time with this is because my normal is disrupted. Um, oh, it looks like there's a spot up here. Okay, I don't know. I hate it when there's like a tiny car and you're like, oh, there's a spot and then there's not. So, okay. 
Oh, toilet paper and tissues. Yay, that lady has them in her cart. Okay, so let's just kind of see here where we're going. Oh man, I'm like literally shaking and my heart's pounding <laughs> because I can't find a parking spot. Okay, um, well, let's just make the best of the situation here. We're gonna have to park in the back. Ugh. Oh dear, I'm gonna spend forever like trying to just find a parking spot. Okay, here we go. We're just parking here. We're kind of parking in the back, but that's okay. All right, here we go. Oh my goodness, I am literally shaking here. Uh, all right, let's go in and see what they have or don't have. This is the Costco line all the way to the back of the store to check out. Didn't have toilet paper. So we're gonna move me to another line. Well, I got most everything I needed. Not quite everything. So I just got back from Costco and it wasn't too bad. They didn't have a few things like the yeast and the toilet paper and the rubbing alcohol. I was really sad about those, but they did have some of the other things I was excited about. It was just so weird seeing like everybody wear masks. It was really crowded in there and they had massive amounts of their paper towels. Like every freezer aisle had pallets lined up in the middle of them full of, to of um, paper towels and they had paper towel pallets on the end of each aisle. <laughs> I was like, man, it should have been toilet paper because like people need toilet paper. We're getting low, so I'm gonna be needing to get some soon. I was trying to get it for my friend. Um, I wasn't able to do that, but I was able to get some of the other things for them. I waited for the whole line of people. We were all the way at the back of the building on the outside and then we did the little zigzag thing. And I got all the way to the door and I opened my wallet to show my card and it was not in my wallet. So I was like, oh boy, where did my card go? So then I had to go to the member services, have a print one, and I'm like, I don't wanna wait in line again. So she just let me just go right in so I didn't have to wait. But I don't know why my wallet didn't have my Costco card in it. I'm not sure what happened. Um, I spent like a little over $200 and most of this stuff is essential stuff, which is what I was um, aiming towards getting and not just doing my full on shopping trip because this is midweek. Um, so let me show you what I got. So I got some of these Cara Cara oranges. These are so, so good. I also got grapefruit because I've been eating grapefruit smoothies and I just love grapefruit. I got two bags of the tortilla chips. We've been going through these like they're going out of style. So I've been getting two. And then I got some pasta sauce. This is not my favorite, but it's what they had. I like the Bertoli one, but they only have that occasionally, so I just got that, but it's it's okay. The jars are bigger than normal, like the other jars, so I just do like two thirds or three quarters, and then I freeze the rest and then I let it accumulate. So this is actually equal to four meals, or like this is one meal and then pizza sauce. So it does last us quite a while. All right, so then in here, I got some lettuce. I like getting the organic, but they didn't have any, so I just got the regular. I got our favorite uncooked tortillas. And then this is something I've never seen at Costco. Um, I've tried the chickpea pasta before, and I like the curly one. And so they had this, and I decided to go ahead and get it because um, I don't eat the gluten pasta. I've been eating sweet potato pasta, making my own with my spiralizer thing. Um, so this will be a nice change in case I can't get to the store and get sweet potatoes because they don't always have white sweet potatoes. So I got that. I got some peanut butter. I got eggs. And then I got this bag of these little mini potatoes I'll show you. They're really small. I love putting these in the Instant Pot with chicken. It just makes a really good complete meal. I've got a video coming up. I don't know when I'm going to post it, but um, yeah, so be, look, be looking for that video. Okay, and then we've been out of jelly for a while and they haven't had it, but they had like a few left. So I was really excited for that. I got some cinnamon because we were just about out of cinnamon. I got honey because we've been going through a lot with baking bread and just, um, you know, some baking that I've been doing. So I have another container in there and I didn't want to run out. So I just thought I would stock up and I noticed that there was a little hole here. I did not notice that in the store. When they put it in my cart, they put another box on top of this, this one here. So I'm wondering if it like cracked when they did that. I got some orange juice concentrate, almonds to make almond milk, frozen mangoes because that's what I use to sweeten my grapefruit smoothies. I got frozen blueberries and I got boneless skinless chicken breast. I wanted the thighs, but they didn't have the thighs. So I just got the chicken because we are running low on chicken. I got some coconut oil since we're completely out and sugar since we are completely out of sugar. 
Who runs out of sugar? I know, but we did. Yeah. And then I got some bananas and I got pumpkin seeds. I love doing these on our salad. And when I make homemade granola, I use these. So I just opened my bag in the pantry, but I noticed these were on sale at Costco. And since we go through a lot of them, I went ahead and got another bag. And I was so excited they had oats. I like buying the oats in the big bucket because we go through a lot of granola, but they've been out of oats. And I was so excited to see oats. So I just got these. This is not my first choice, but um, yeah, it's still cheaper than like buying it at the store. And then I was super excited to see that they had vinegar this time because they were out. I used this in my homemade all-purpose cleaner with my citrus peels, especially because I got all those bags of oranges and um, grapefruit over there. I use this in my all-purpose cleaner, which is not a quite disinfectant like rubbing alcohol is, but I've been out of vinegar and I haven't been able to um, use my vinegar since I'm out. So I was really excited that they had that this time. And then they also had flour. We are running low on flour and I did not want to run out. So I got some flour here and I think that's everything I got. Oh, and I got a bag of softener salt. Hi, are you causing trouble for daddy upstairs? No. no. Hey, Faith. What is this? <laughs> Mommy got bananas. Are you going to help me put the groceries away? No. No? So that's everything I got. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. And I don't know, going shopping is just so depressing and sad. I still probably will run to Sprouts just to get some other stuff. I need baking powder. Um, I've been out of baking powder for a while. And baking soda is not really a great substitute for it. Um, so yeah, I need that. And then I also want to get some carrots and some other things that I was not able to get at Costco. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time.